give me a two top crane. There's Mike in the golf cart. Caleb sent in the text. This is the cylinder for the counterweights on the 80-4. And figured out why it's leaking. But we've elected not to record anything up to this point because this is a family friendly channel. And typically getting it to this point is when all the unfamily family friendly stuff happens. If you look inside, here is a square shaft. So this cylinder actually has a rotating mechanism on the top. Rotates the rod 90 degrees to lock into the counterweights. So we're gonna dig all this crap out, put new seals in it, put new piston seals on it, and put it back together. I just did that because you hate cameras. <laughs> well, I don't want the porn industry to find out. Oh, I think you're safe. So Caleb's digging that seal out. That is, the outer seal is just a dust wiper. So it just wipes the rod off to keep it from retracting crap up into the land. The seal that's destroyed, that's the pressure seal. Oh, Mike's going to be the camera guy. I'm going to grab the seal kit and show you guys what these seals look like. So these are the new seals. This is the U-cup seal. This is the pressure seal. Groove always goes towards the pressure. So this side would be towards the outermost portion of the gland. This is the dust wiper. So this goes in the outer groove of the gland. Wear bands for inside the gland. What these do is they center the rod and keep the rod running uh, true in the bore of the gland. Piston seals, and these can be quite the pain in the butt. A lot of times you have to heat these up to get them put on. And then just various O-rings, backup ring. Um, we'll get to those. Which one's grenaded? This one right there. It uh, definitely chewed itself up. Just disintegrated. Once it by bypasses a little oil, right there's where it went. Yeah. A little bit of oil went past it and. She gone. That's all it takes. I need to check that rod, make sure there's no dings in it. Yeah. Just make sure it's not scraping it. Well, if there's a ding in it, it can create a spot for the wrong pressure to blow past the wiper or the heat up seat. Feel like you're changing the tire? Yeah. So you run that screwdriver through your hand. Won't be the first time. You know that old one is that fun to take off? Oh yeah. Yeah, the new one's gonna be glorious. Okay, it's important. You have to feel around the inside of this. Make sure you don't have any dings or sharp edges. Because if you cut this seal in any spot, it's done. And also remember to put it in the right direction. So the U groove right here goes towards the pressure inside the cylinder. And the way I do these is I'll put a little bend in it and get it seated in the groove with my thumb. And then I twist it and it'll fall down into that groove. And then you'll end up with a little nub sticking up. And that's it. So now it is in there. And then the wiper seal. Some of these just drive in. This one snaps in. 
the ridge or the raised wiper portion goes towards the outside so this just scrapes the dirt and stuff off like I said earlier kind of the same thing on the oh it's got a dent in it sure does it's got a little dent in the gland right here I didn't see that earlier I'm gonna go ahead and get a punch and straighten that up a little bit We're gonna try it, see what happens. It's almost out. Still got a little bit of a low spot, not bad. Snap right in. in these are pretty easy you can be pretty mean to them o-ring backup ring backup ring goes on first and you have to pay attention to these some of these have a, a u-groove in them that fits against the o-ring all this does is reinforce the back side of the o-ring so the pressure doesn't blow it out these you don't want to stretch them And then O-rings, do not roll them on. Pull them straight out. Why is that? Because rolling them, there's a seam actually around an O-ring. And if you roll it, then you twist that seam. And you can actually give it a spot for it to leak pressure. And I have in a pinch, if you don't have an O-ring that fits just right, if you got one that's too big, cut it with a razor blade and super glued the ends together and put it on and it'll miraculously it'll hold the pressure now the fun one so caleb's got the piston pretty much cleaned up this is your old seal stack it's a good idea to keep these around until you get completely done with the exception of the one that you did you cut one no. Uh, I tried, but... This seal kit from Tadano was 470 bucks, and I had the next day it. So, I typically try to keep my old seals, just in case uh, I damage one putting it together. I've got an old one I can put back. Probably. They changed colors. Yeah. They went with more of your style. What's that? <laughs> Orange? Is that what you were leaning towards sure. there? Everybody's a comedian. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard to get on that. Shouldn't. Based on uh, how hard it was to get off, I'm going to say that it's going to be a pain. I think we can work it over it. I'm gonna give her a little stretch. It's, I mean, it's rubber, it's going right back. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've actually ripped fingernails off doing this before. That's a good thing you don't have any. Oh, look at that. 
Ta da! My glue. These are split. Hmm? That's right. Isn't it? That's right. That's right. I tried to tell you. It's all right. Just don't try to go all at once with it. Or we can stand the rod up and do it from the other side. Or you can just do that. And then these splits, I try to put them opposite of one another, just like piston rings in an engine. You know, you got a split here in this blue one, you got a split here in the orange one. Make sure they're not lined up. I mean, these, these don't really hold any pressure. This is where all the pressure's held. These blue seals just back this seal up. And these are pretty much just wear bands. Keep metal from, keep the gland from, or the piston from hitting the inside of the cylinder. You're making all kinds of fun nasty. stuff. Okay. It is sticky lube. What are you doing? I'm lubricating the inside of the gland so we can slip it on the rod there. What are you using? Lucas. Why? Because it is sticky. It stays in place. It doesn't just run down everywhere. <laughs> but yummy. it uh, lubricates these seals very well. There's a couple ways you can do this. You gotta make sure that you don't have any damaged areas down here where this little ridge is, because that seal is gonna go over the top of that ridge. So you can try to beat it on there with a hammer, which is what a lot of people do. Um, sometimes it tears the seal up. What I do is I just pick it up and drop it. You, I don't know what it is about dropping it. It'll self-center and uh, just the weight of the gland will slide down on the rod. I've seen guys that'll try to beat them on with a hammer and they beat from one side and it, it twists this just enough that that seal will get damaged coming over this lip. And then starting over. Why are you doing what you're doing? I'm marking this that way we can index it right back in the same spot. So I'm putting a little dent in the top of this cover lined up with this hole. That way we know we can put it right back where it was. And I'm not sure that this plate's gonna come off, but just in case it does, we're gonna mark it. That way everything goes right back in the same orientation that it was in. Hammer tight. Mm -hmm. uh, tight. that's German for very tight. Not really. Just in case everybody didn't know, you're supposed to beat on your Allen wrenches like that. Yeah. And I have no idea what's inside there. And where do I? We're about We're to, find to find out. there's not like a big Belleville washer or something in there that we have to compress or like a tape measure type spring. Or that spring that thing goes right through, right through my stomach. That'd be bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hospital's close. We got super glue. That's true. We 
we wire wheel that off? Something. I right, wire wheel that off. Bam. Need to rotate a little bit. Pull this all the way in, and then put the rod in. You can't. Let's put some uh, stuff on the on the O-ring. The way it didn't wad itself up. That's frustrating. What a mess! We got a mess on this bench, Caleb. When we get done, I think we'll just clean it off with a skid loader. It must have started. Very close to these little filter pliers. This is kind of used what you got. Time for the spanner wrench in a minute. That's enough for now. Just we'll hold it. It was on top? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll uh, finish torquing that down after we get it together. Good? I don't think so. Tail one's on the ground, it fell. <laughs> 